Good morning, and thank you for joining me, Coach Mike, on your Monday morning. First, let me share that I am I don't necessarily talk politics and I'm not an economist. However, you have to agree right now, this economy is doing pretty darn good. You have interest rates and unemployment at historical lows, and the stock market is trading at all-time highs. I mean, I was speaking to a commercial general contractor the other day, and I just mentioned, it seems like when you guys have no more land to build on, you find more land to build on. And he immediately corrected me, he goes, no, we're not finding more land to build on, we're finding more spaces to demolish to build up, to create more space. Hmm, interesting. Think about that for a moment. Take a 10-unit strip mall, demolish that, build it up to a 10-story office building. You have more employees, more organizations, more companies, more productivity, more opportunities to people advance and make more earned income. You have all those employees in that office building taking lunch breaks five days a week and walking in and spending money in the local economy, the restaurants and the shops. So by just building up, you created more stimulation for that economy. Now, the economy's doing great, and let's celebrate. However, that doesn't give us the ability to slack off. What we really need to focus on is not how the economy is fueling us, it's how we need to fuel the economy. And I'm gonna give you five things to focus on to make sure you're implementing and mastering so you can fuel your own economy. The first thing is the focus and mindset. What you focus on is what you get, good or bad. So, and where you focus goes, your energy flows. So make sure your mindset is strong and positive and you are focusing on what's in the four walls of your business to make you, your team, and your organization better. Because when you're on your A game and your focus is clear on what serves you, your team, your organization, your community, your company, and your family, that's what serves you and your organization, and that's what fuels your economy. The second thing is be clear on your vision and your destination. You have to be really clear on your purpose and where you are going with your organization. Wealth creation is a byproduct of getting everybody else what they want. So when you're really clear on your destination, only then will you have the ability to empower people to follow you and represent your brand. And speaking of that, that's when it comes down to the team. And to create a great team, you need to have a great culture. When you have a really great culture, you empower your team to step up and represent your brand. And in addition, when you're hiring people, you're not necessarily hiring them. They will either fit into your culture or not. And people have a sense of pride along with your destination and vision to represent your brand and go out there and fuel the economy by getting more customers to come to you. Number four, make sure you have systems and structure in place. And again, system stands for saving yourself stress, time, energy, and money. When you have an empowered team applying and mastering the systems within your organization, that will automatically make them more productive, that productivity will go down to the bottom line, and everyone will make more money. And when everything's in place and you've mastered these four other steps, number five, take care of your customers. And the only way to do that, when you are focused and strong in your mindset and going where your energy needs to go, when you're clear on your vision and your destination of your organization, when you have a culture that empowers your team and the systems and structure in place, your team and your organization will be consistently taking care of your customers. And when your customers are happy, they will be coming back more often, telling their colleagues and friends, and spending more money to fuel your business and fuel your economy. And when all these five traits are mastered, your employees will be making more, your organization will be making more, people will be coming back more often, and you have the opportunity to go out and spend more money and to fuel the local economy. So if your economy isn't doing well, do not look at the outside, look at the inside of where you and your organization needs to step up. Put these five traits in order, master them, apply them, take a lot of pride in what you do, but be very conscious. Don't get 
complacent and wait for this economy to take care of you, do what you need to do to step up to take care of your own economy within the four walls of your organization, and everybody will win. I want to thank you for joining me, Coach Mike, on your Monday morning. I want to wish you a productive, proper week. Go out there and fuel your economy. Thank you, and I'll see you next Monday.